From classrooms to corridors, schools are becoming battlegrounds. We were kind of pinned in the corner. With teachers caught in the crossfire. I remember that my hands were just numb and my feet were numb. That's at St. John's Mercy. But Marla Arinze says it's not just the violence that's shocking. It's just horrible. I know you're here somewhere. It's the aftermath, the bureaucratic barrier she faced when she tried to get help. She was a sixth grade math teacher at Washington Elementary in the Normandy School District. Four separate times in just a couple of years, she says she was injured while breaking up fights. Data shows about four in 10 public schools in the U.S. say fights have increased since before the pandemic. Among the causes, researchers say the isolation of the pandemic may have worsened mental health problems. It's leaving educators battered, bruised, and traumatized. I've had neck surgery. I'm still having neurological problems. I've had seizures and strokes. She thought filing for workers' compensation would be a lifeline, but instead, she says it became a nightmare. A Normandy school spokesperson turned down an on-camera interview, but they told us the district has taken steps to improve safety and security. About a year after Arinze's attack, the district rolled out a new policy, telling staff to not break up fights and instead call for help. But she says it's not enough. When you're on work comp, it's really like you have no say. You have no say about anything. Do you feel like your treatment has been delayed because of workers comp? Oh, I know it's been delayed because of workers comp. We've had to fight for every treatment that she's gotten. Her attorney, Alan Mendel, reveals a surprising truth about Missouri's workers compensation system. In many states like Illinois, workers like teachers can choose their own doctors. But in Missouri, the system dictates medical care. And, and that's, that's a real dilemma. The physician who is hired by the workers' compensation carrier to treat the patient, where do the loyalties really lie? Do they lie with the patient or to the insurance company that's paying them and controlling the medical care? Is there a conflict of interest? I think so, but the law doesn't. I had to wait almost, almost over a year just for a neurologist. Yeah. All while out of a job. She got paid a portion of her paycheck for seven months. That's until she says the school district's insurance company stopped medical care. Now she's fighting for help without a paycheck. Because they act like it didn't happen. A new survey by the Missouri State Teachers Association shows the top reasons teachers are leaving the job are stress, lack of pay, and student behavior. For the I-Team, Paula Vassan, Five on Your Side.